Hi everyone, we're back for another video on the Shopify app CLI series. In this video, we're going to focus on how to install the CLI tool and take a look at some of the basic commands you can run. If you'd like more background on what the app CLI tool can do and who it's designed for, you can check out the introductory video, which you can find in the description. To install the app CLI tool, you'll need three things. A Shopify partner account, a Shopify development store to install and test your apps, and a currently supported version of Ruby. If you don't already have a Shopify partner account, there's a link in the description below that will show you how to create an account. And from there, you'll be able to set up free development stores that you can use for installing and testing apps. The installation process on Mac OS is quite simple and can be done through Homebrew. We'll start by making sure we've tapped the Shopify keg by running brew tap Shopify slash Shopify. Okay. And now we can install by running brew install Shopify dash CLI. Great. So to confirm everything has been installed correctly, let's run Shopify version, which returns the version of the CLI I have insta installed. Um, so that means that everything is set up correctly. And that's it. By running a handful of commands, we can see that we've installed the latest version of the CLI and we're ready to move on. To see a list of which commands are available to us, we can run Shopify help, and you'll see a few of the commands that are supported. Um, so you can connect to an existing project, you can create a new project, uh, you can log out of a partner account, um, and then you can also see the version of the CLI, which we just ran. Thanks for joining us so far. In the next section of the tutorial, we'll be looking at how to create an app with the CLI tool. If you enjoyed this video, found it helpful, or have any feedback, please feel free to leave a comment below and give us a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel to get the latest updates as well.